can't say the F word. <laughs> can't swear, period. <laughs> can't swear, okay? Ready? So what am I doing? Come over here. What? Come over here. You didn't answer my question. We're gonna paint. I know that. Okay, so I'm recording, but I'm gonna like edit, so I can't mm. say the F word. Oh, fuck. <laughs> can't swear, period. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can't swear. Okay. Hi, everybody. Yes, I'm starting, James. Hi, everybody. Say hi, James. Hi, everybody. Hi, James. <laughs> so, thanks to Sandra for inviting me to be part of this collaboration. Because, Sandra, if you hadn't invited me, I don't think I would have ever got James to paint with me. So, thank you. Oh, she's right. <laughs> Never would have happened. <laughs> anyway. So we are doing flip cups today. We each have a 10 by 10 canvas here in front of us. We have our special wine glasses mm -hmm. with these decals on them. Across the globe, date night, dancing with colors is what our is. It's no, not a very I, good globe. It's heart shaped. I know. So I always set up my camera so that Everybody watching sees exactly what I'm watching. So if you can read it, they can read it, okay? Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go through our colors, okay, James? Sure, you're gonna say all the colors. Yes. James picked all the colors, by the way. So this is a Montmart Ultramarine Blue. Oh, I just realized that I forgot to turn my light on. <laughs> Much better, okay. This is Shuttle Art Color Shift Purple, or Color Flash, I think is what it's called, actually. This is Art Mines Silver. This is Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. I have Saks Bright Red. And I made a pearl purple out of, Am not Amsterdam, Deco Art um, Pearl. And I added some Montmart Purple to that and mixed her all up. And... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I have a little cup of some champagne gold, the Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art. It's my favorite. So... I didn't pick that one. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we are going to take our wine glasses and we are going to layer. Do you want to do a layered cup or do you want to do a dirty cup? I don't care. Surprise me. No, you're going to do it. So I'm going to give you the option to, to do a layered cup. You hold your glass sideways like this and you're going to pour the paints down the side so that they layer. If you want to do a dirty cup, just pour them in so that when they layered they'll mix okay so you can pick any color you want in any layers you want okay go 
And go. And go. You didn't tie your children down, so they're not. That's okay. They might come up and watch. They better not. They are unwelcome. They're not unwelcome. That one especially. <laughs> Aww. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, see? And always Probably remember more. that, just keep going, however much you want. Because you're doing a little canvas, it's probably better to do a little less. smaller layers instead of, because you want, yeah. you don't want big chunks of color, right? I'm gonna do it one little dirty pour of the champagne. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. That was not much. I was busy I pouring. Poured it right into the middle. Oh god. So it went right down in and through everything. What did you do? You're doing a good job. It's because I'm a professional. This is so much fun. I'm a professional. <laughs> a poor professional? You got her. That's what I say. <laughs> a poor professional. So, take your canvas. Cheers and drink. Cheers. Okay. Take your canvas. Mm -hmm. Flip it upside down. Mm -hmm. Onto your wine glass like this. This is the easy way to do a flip cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna flip it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and try and set it down on your stands. Let it sit for a little bit. On the cups, I like to like tap the bottoms. Why we do that, I don't know. We just yeah, do. I don't think you need to worry about on a glass cup. <laughs> and then we're gonna either you're gonna like you can slide it around, or you can just lift it, or you can do whatever you want. You can do like a lift and drag your lips through it. <laughs> okay. You can let it drip just like that into it as well. I wouldn't do that, but that's okay. You didn't ask what you would do. Now, it is a very much a lot of paint. A very much a lot of paint. Mm -hmm. I have great English. You just don't use it very often. You want a torch? Or you want to just do? What do I need a torch for? Get the air bubbles out. Look at mine. There's no air bubbles in mine. Yeah, there's like six. Oh, it's already hot in here. You don't need to make it hotter. <laughs> What was the temperature outside today? 29. And what did when it I got it? home. I don't know. Hotter. Hot? Hotter. For Americans, that's in the 90s. Yeah. High 90s. We have quite a few Canadians. Uh, collaboration. Sanders from Canada. Mendoz from Canada. Jamesy's doing a good job. 
been watching somebody do it for 150 <laughs> videos. <laughs> Not quite 150. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I think I'm at, yeah, 140 something. I really like this bottom part on mine. So I'm, because I have so much paint, I'm gonna try and stretch that out. And I will let the paint dry on my silicone mat and I will be making magnets and some other things too. I have some other ideas kind of in the works. Um, but yeah, so don't waste my paints. Fluid art can get very wasteful sometimes, but look at him fix his corners. Yeah, he doesn't watch my videos at all. Actually, he does sit up here sometime and watch as we paint. Okay, if you want, you can torch. Um, we also have to, did you slide your finger along underneath? Thank you. Just the best you I can. I was waiting for the rest of the paint to drip down on its own. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> it's okay, it's a work shirt. That's why I put it on. Love you, man. Well, it's only like fingerprints for me. <laughs> and it just makes your shirt look normal. <laughs> okay. Um, you want a torch? I don't know. Is it gonna make anything better? Okay. You want the air bubbles popped so that you don't get holes because they'll pop when you dry and then you'll have like big holes in your hands. Well, you're a pro. You, you torch it. Oh, yours is cool. Mm -hmm. Told you, I'm a professional. Watch your fingers. You've got lots of the iridescent purple in yours. Or that color shift purple. Mm -hmm. I only got a little bit in mine. Very nice. I like it, James. Yeah, I like it a lot. What parts do you like the best on yours? The middle. This little um, blue hole. The blue hole? Yeah. yeah. What part do you like best on mine? This right here. The purpley? Just that little bit right Rosary. there. And this kind of looks like um, how they. Space? Space, yeah, how they do space, the rings of Saturn and stuff like that. Cool. Should I do a close up? I think it's time to do a close up, everybody. I think so too. I think we're done painting. So, before we do the close up, though, James, I want to thank everyone for watching. Make sure you check out the other participants down in the description box. Go have a look at their videos. Make sure you subscribe to their channels. Like and subscribe everybody's channel. Exactly. And Sandra is also giving away a prize. If you watch and comment and like every video in the list, you'll be entered to win a draw for this lovely prize. I will insert a picture right here. Um, yeah, and it, it's actually pretty fabulous. I think that's how Sandra found me to do this collaboration. Um, the last one that these ladies did, I watched them all. I liked them all. I commented on them all. And I ended up with a fabulous package of almost the exact same stuff uh, made by Sandra's husband. So thanks to you too. Um, so YouTube. yeah, let's do a close-up of these two fabulous looking paintings. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me see your shirt. <laughs> oh, I can see the sparkles from the yeah. flash. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. We'll, we'll do my piece first since I'm already standing here. I knew there'd be lots of sparkles. Yeah, I know I like it. Yours is too. These colors are very galactic space-like. 
but I love the red and the blue because we get purple. And then you add some purple and then you get more purple. So much purple. I like that spot right in there. That's my favorite spot. I should show the glasses too. That one's mine. It's all dripping down the side. Because you're messy. Not and me though. Nice and clean. James's. Except for on the inside. So here's James's whole piece. Yeah, very nice. You got some nice cells, some nice lines. James's favorite part is this blue hole, he calls it, which I think he's probably going to name his piece the blue hole. Got it. Like the one in Mexico. Oh. Like a cenote. A cenote, yeah, for sure. Definitely going back there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching James and I paint today. If you haven't subscribed, I sure would love if you would. Take care, have a great day, and I will show you pictures of the dried results. Bye. Okay, so here's the dried results for James's piece. His piece has a lot of sparkles sort of just all over very lightly. Mine has one spot that's super sparkly. Definitely dry, great, dry, perfect. Colors are awesome. He did good when he picked the colors, that's for sure. And that purple color shift is really neat. <laughs> okay, so here's my piece. I don't know if I can get the sparkles. It's a little dark in here, even with my flash on. You can kind of see them up there. Oh yeah, you can see that right there, hopefully. Very galaxy space, like that corner for sure. down here. Well, you can't really see all that sparkle. Maybe. Let me know. Can you see the sparkle? Tell me down in the comments if you can see it. So yeah, that is our collaboration. Date night. It was awesome. Thanks again, Sandra, for asking me to be part of this collaboration. Take care, everybody. Have a great day and a great week and stay safe.